Hello everyone. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create your own billboards with the Billboard Builder plugin in DAS Studio. I've explained in a previous episode how you can do this from scratch with something like Photoshop or any other graphics application that allows you to create an opacity mask or cut out opacity mask with an external graphics tool. But if you don't have such a tool, then the Billboard Builder plugin is a really good alternative. Here's what it looks like. It's on the DAS store. There's going to be a link in the description to this product. It's currently on sale as I'm recording. This might not be on sale when you watch this video, but it's one of those things. It isn't actually just one product, it's two products. So it requires the C66 graphics plugin. And that is the underlying library that makes graphics calculations possible. So several scripts on the store require it to do enhanced calculations. And this is one of them. So you need that installed and then you can install Billboard Builder and then this is going to work. Let me show you how to do it. This is the scene I had going earlier. This is the one with the army of bulwarks that I've made the Photoshop way. I'm going to go and delete that whole group of instances. And we have only one bulwark left here. And I'm actually going to delete him as well. Because, uh, yeah, we just, we're going to, we're going to create this guy from scratch. In my previous video, I had already rendered this guy. So I'm going to use the same picture again. All I'm going to do is start the Billboard Builder plugin. If you're using smart content, then make sure filter by content is disabled and head over to the utility section where you can find Billboard Builder. Double click on it and it only has one usable icon here, which is this one, the Billboard Builder. And you double click it and then this little window comes up. Very, very handy little tool. It's like a standalone little application inside Dash Studio. So it's really, really nice and uh, well thought out. Up here, you can load one or two images. So the idea is that if you had rendered a PNG out, then this is all you need. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click load and then just go and create, just go load up my bulwark number one. That's the one that I had rendered out. And that is really all you need. Because it already has transparency, we don't need an additional alpha image. If you had a JPEG, image that doesn't have an alpha channel, then you can create your own mask from that and load it in as an alpha. So the plugin gives you that option. It needs an output directory where to save stuff. So you need to set that. Let's go and put that on the desktop as well in my billboards directory here. Select that folder and then we're kind of set up here. This option here is kind of interesting. We talked about the shadow implications. And if your image doesn't have a ground shadow at all, you can just go disable that. My image has a ground shadow and I need this option enabled. And what this does is actually really, really clever. It adds this kind of blur mask on the outside here. It's a bit like a vignette. And that's kind of a soft cutoff where this shadow here that we talked about is going to be blurred out. You can set how wide the blur radius is. So anything that's gray here, that'll be blurred out, but you can make that wider if you want or less wide if you want. So in my case, I probably don't want it to encroach on my character because otherwise he will be, he will start to blur out where his eyes are. And I don't really want to do that. So the default is 30 and that works quite well, but it really depends on the shadow that you have there. As I said before, it's probably best to keep that to a minimum so that these lines that we cut off aren't immediately visible. And that's really almost all you need to do. There is a thing that lets you here preview the alpha blur result. So this is what it'll look like. So we can see a little bit of cut off here and I'm okay with it. It's just a demo. It's fine. But the most important point is down here, the show anchor pivot point. So we had to set up our pivot point manually, but uh, Billboard Builder lets you do this in this plugin, which is kind of cool. So that's down here. You enable this and then you see that pivot point and then you can see the anchor X and Y offset. So X is fine in my case, but Y needs to be moved up a little bit so that it's been kind of between his feet. And in my case, I suppose I could also move it slightly further over to the left or to the right. I think I was okay here with the default here. So zero is fine. If your image happens to be framed up and it's not centered, you can take care of that here with image X and Y offset. Just as a demo, as you do that, you move the image. Um, so if you haven't framed it up perfectly, you can just go and do that with Billboard Builder. That's kind of cool. And then that's almost all we need. There's a type here that lets you create your billboard. Character is a default. There's also botanic and other. So if I understand this correctly, the characters, if you just put the regular render, 
water onto the surface as we did in the previous video, then they can appear a little bit dark. So you can either combat that with color corrections or you can let Billboard Builder handle that. So with this, the characters are going to be slightly brightened up and they're going to look slightly more natural. Botanic is the opposite way around. That looks a little bit too bright if you use botanical backgrounds like trees and plants and all that. So that makes it a little bit darker. And other is basically a middle value between the two. Try them out and see what you think. There's also, before I forget, there is a manual that you can read. If you click this button, then a browser tab comes open and it explains all these settings to you, which is really cool. What I find really exciting now is that you go and hit create billboard and it will go and create the relevant images for you, but it also goes and creates the image plane for you and puts it directly into the center of the scene. So that's kind of cool. So we can go and close billboard builder now. And here is my bulwark pretty much like I had made him from scratch earlier. And you can do the same things with him that we did earlier. It's called Bulwark Billboard, so it's kind of cool. And uh, my pivot point is exactly where it needs to be. It's all just kind of set up for me, which is really, really cool in seconds. And I didn't even need something like Photoshop, so it's very cool. So once again, you can head over to create yourself some instances and make, you know, an army of bulwarks, if you like. There they are, and all from that one billboard. It's kind of cool. That's Billboard Builder in a nutshell. It's an extremely handy, super simple plugin that makes your life a lot easier if you're building a lot of billboards and a lot of crowd scenes or anything that requires a lot of objects in the scene that would otherwise be too expensive to render, like uh, trees, foliage, crowd characters, buildings, all that sort of thing, tons of cars, and you know, the sky's the limit. Have fun with it, and I hope I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.